guys, my name is Dominique. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a product review of the Magnetic Eyelashes by Ardell. Now me personally, Ardell, 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 yeah, I'm gonna go with Ardell. <laughs> so me personally, I love wearing fake eyelashes to special events. I don't wear them on a daily or weekly basis. I just personally don't have the time to apply them because it takes me forever. And also I just feel like it's too glam for going to college or going to work or even going on just like a normal date but however I do like wearing fake eyelashes for holidays, special events, special occasions, my birthday just to give me an extra pizzazz and today is actually Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving if you're watching and I will be applying fake eyelashes. Now I hate applying eyelashes because of the glue. Me personally when I'm taking the fake eyelashes off I could just feel the anxiety like I could just feel my natural eyelashes <laughs> ripping out and I just hate it so much so I'm hoping that this would be a healthier and easier alternative to using eyelash glue um, so I'm basically going to just be doing an honest review of these eyelashes I have not yet applied them so hopefully this will be helpful to you guys if you're looking to purchase them there are really expensive brands like high-end that are like $80 for the eyeliner um, you know the the like applicator and the eyelashes. Me personally, I'm not gonna spend $80 on eyelashes because I don't wear them that often. Um, however, these that I found um, in Macy's in you know the makeup section, um, Ardell, Ardell Magnetic Lashes, these were like 12 to $15, something like that. Super, super inexpensive. Um, so I'm gonna try them out. And maybe if I do love them that much, I'll go into like a higher end company to try out those. But personally, I mean, these are $15. And if it works and looks good, these are gonna be my go-to. <laughs> so um, just keep watching if you wanna see how this works and how they look. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. So this is what the packaging looks like. I have already opened it because I needed to apply the liner, but this is them. They give you a little um, gel eyeliner and an applicator that I have already applied to my eyes, which it went on pretty smooth. So actually I prefer liquid eyeliner and there are brands that do have liquid magnetic liner instead. Um, but I thought I'd give this a try. And honestly, it was really easy to apply because this applicator, which I will show you, um, was super skinny and thin and I was able to get like the point that I wanted. So this is the applicator. Really cute. By the way, this, the eyeliner is super, super creamy, goes on extremely creamy. And then on top of that, it like doesn't come off. Like I was nervous with gel liner that once I like went to curl my eyelashes that it would come off a little bit literally it got on my finger and it's still on there even after I scrubbed with soap and then I went in with my makeup wipes and it's still on which makes me kind of nervous hopefully it'll come off tonight when I go to take it off but yeah so far so good this is the little pot I guess you would call it that it comes in super cute drum roll these are the lashes I got them, these are Demi lashes, Demi Wispy. So I'm a little nervous to do this on camera. I'm really, really, really bad at applying fake eyelashes, but I guess we shall see. <laughs> so nerve wracking, oh my gosh. Now allegedly, the eyelashes are supposed to attach directly to the eyeliner, and that is exactly what I saw. Immediately when I held it near the eyeliner, it sort of latched on like a magnet. I was having trouble getting it to stick into the inner corner. I think it's because I had applied the eyeliner about half an hour ago and in the meantime I had put highlight in my inner corner and I think it sort of just prevented it from adhering well. So I applied a little more eyeliner and the problem was solved. I didn't want to make the same mistake twice so I went in and applied some more eyeliner to my other eye just putting another coat right where I had my eyeliner previously just to make sure that the magnetic liner was fresh for when I applied the lashes. Here you can see just how magnetic the lashes are. They got a little too close to my mirror and latched on. <laughs> The eyelashes go on even easier on the other eye. As you could see, as I show you in slow motion, it just immediately attaches, easy as pie. And as you could see, when I pull the eyelashes off my eye, my entire eyelid moves, just to show just how good they really are on, and they're not attached to my real eyelashes at all. All right, 
eyelashes are on. Let's take a look. Um, these eyelashes so it's a little tricky it does take getting the hang of um, it's important to apply the eyeliner on not thick in terms of like a thick line but just like a lot of it like um, like along your lash line just to make sure they stick without ease another tip make sure you the eyeliner is fresh so if you did it a while ago put on just another layer or you know just do your eyeliner last whatever is easier for you but all in all they look really good um they feel like they're on good like i don't feel like they're gonna fall off like actually honestly i feel more comfortable with these than the glue like they feel like they're on and um yeah no glue involved yet lashes <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this very very honest review again this does come with a few nuances. It is a little tricky at first. You have to get used to it. You have to apply the eyeliner right. But if you do, I mean, I think these look pretty good. I mean, you tell me, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like it, share it, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. So this is what the packaging looks like. I already